Good morning. Welcome to day four of the travel vlogs. We are in Jinsajo or DST this morning. We're heading to GU again to return a t-shirt that didn't quite fit that we bought yesterday. Actually, GU's not open yet, so we're looking around and I want to go to this, I think it's a German bakery called Gushbauer. Probably butchering that. Um, apparently they have a store in Toronto as well, but since we're here, I'm going to check it out. And here we are, open nice and early, but most of their more famous breads aren't made yet. But I'm hungry, so I'm gonna get one. So we got a mocha loaf. It's kind of like a mini loaf. Serves more than one, but not quite really four people, I guess. There's swirls of chocolate inside, and the main dough is coffee flavored. It's pretty good. Yes, yeah, so we are back here again, and I have to stay outside unless I put this in my bag because no food in the store. So in Hong Kong you get hungry once every two hours or less. So we're at McDonald's um, to recharge <laughs> and I think we're going, gonna go for the value picks. So $11 for fish filet sandwich, it's not bad at all and also the pies. So this is what I'm trying, crunchy Ovaltine latte, not offered in Canada. And that is a very well-valued fish and filet burger. So much that we got three of them. And apple and taro pies. So it looks like they fry their pies in Hong Kong, which makes the outside so crispy and delicious. And we are a you know, family of four, we're sharing two pies. So. So we can get hungry and try new things in another hour or so, right? Alright, we are heading over to Hong Kong Island today. So we're taking the ferry. It is quite inexpensive. Two dollars, Hong Kong dollars, gets you across the ocean. Or just across the water, not ocean. <laughs> so we are on board, waiting for the ferry to take off. We're on the other side, Hong Kong Island, in Central, and there is the famous new Ferris wheel. I've been seeing this in so many Hong Kong dramas in recent years, I haven't been back recently, so it's really nice to get to see it in person, from a distance, but that's okay. So since this part of the city is located on a mountain, they have an escalator outdoors to help people move up if you don't want to walk out. This will never work in Toronto because the snow and all that. Alright, guess what? We're looking for food again. There is a cafe or bakery called Honolulu Cafe. It's supposed to be in this area. Um, we're looking for egg tarts. And we can't find it. <laughs> so we can't find it. We're just perusing the area where Google Maps says it should be. Alright, apparently it closed down and so we're going to skip that and head over to another district, um, Wanzai, Wan Chai. Um, and we are taking the very traditional tram, kind of like the streetcar in Toronto, two levels and it is boiling hot in here. I think it's about 30 degrees outside and inside here it's probably like 40 something, 50. I could probably cook it in here if um, I stay long enough. But it's traditional and the views are nice. You get to see the city from a height, so it's all good. So we're almost there. And we are actually heading to this all vegan restaurant. Um, that's pretty highly rated. It's called Fetch Six. Oh, 
Okay, we're finally off that steamer. So, I'm looking for the restaurant. Okay, so we found the restaurant we're looking for, Veg Six, the vegetarian restaurant. It's kind of late for lunch, so we're hungry and cranky. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's very interesting. All the dishes are completely vegan. So they're made with either like soy milk or soy curds or gluten is another common ingredient. We took our time eating and now it's getting late, sun is starting to set. We are just trying to catch a little bit more shopping before the rush hour heading home. So we are at Sogo or we're heading into Sogo over there. So Sogo is just a giant department store and on the basement floor we have sort of a supermarket. This is kind of funny. The buses are just zooming by and the trams are taking so long. So slow. The usual flood of people. Actually, this is not that bad. But definitely way more than the usual in Toronto. So we're in the Sogo supermarket. Just looking at all these unique food stands. They're cheese tarts! So basically these are really popular about three or four years ago in Asia and they're sort of a sweet and slightly salty um, soft half-baked cheesecake and a tart um, and they're supposed to be really good I haven't tried them in Toronto, they are available in Toronto now but we're gonna try them now so we're getting two to share <laughs> This is how they look inside. Ooh, gooey deliciousness. So in Hong Kong, it seems like you can eat all day. <laughs> and uh, we still have to have dinner because cheese starts were not dinner. And so we're back in Newtown Plaza in Yatta, another department store, looking for food only. So they have food stands on the outside, but we probably haven't had as much fruit as I should during this trip. So maybe I should get something healthier. And I am back. This is not the healthier stuff. More noodle chips. And I'm not sure what flavor this is supposed to be. It tastes kind of like chicken. It's pretty good. And the other one is how I get my fruit in. This is lemon flavored. And it's actually really cool. It's kind of like ketchup chip, but citrus flavored. Slightly tangy and salty. I actually really like it. I did, we did have dinner. I did have fruit and veg, so not too unhealthy. It's only day four. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one, day five.